Dear friends, today I would like to share with you a very intense dream I had this morning. I want to give you a little bit of background before I begin describing this dream. So last night I was actually praying in the spirit, praying fervently. I was praying to God that God would warn the people of this earth with dreams and visions and even nightmares of what is coming, that God would tell them what is coming so that they would repent, that they would repent, repent, repent. So I went to bed and I, then I woke up from this dream this morning, around 7 o'clock in the morning. Very, very intense dream. I found myself in a room. The atmosphere was dark and there was a bed there and Jesus Christ was on that bed and he was suffering intensely. He was in total agony. I could see him moving from side to side and his, he looked gaunt and his, the color of his skin was purplish and bluish in color like a person who doesn't get enough oxygen and he was suffering so intensely so I went around the side of the bed and I sat down on the floor and I hugged my knees I just didn't know what to do or what to say I just wanted to keep him company and comfort him in some way but I didn't know what to say I didn't know what to do so then even in his agony he spoke a few words to me he took notice of me that I was there in the room with him and he spoke to me a few words but I don't remember what they were. I don't remember what they were. So the scene then changed and I found myself in another room and there were people there. And I was talking to these people one on one, face to face. I was going around the room speaking to every, each and every person one on one, face to face. And I was saying these words very, very loudly to each one of them. I was saying the following words. The kingdom of God is within you. When you do filthy things or speak filthy words, you make the kingdom of God within you suffer, and you show that your master is Satan, and he will drag you into hell forever. Repent, repent, repent. Stop doing filthy things. The kingdom of God is within you. The kingdom of God is within you. The kingdom of God is within you. I just kept repeating these words to these people one on one. And as I was repeating these words to each and every person, I could feel that the atmosphere in the room was changing, that these people were really stirred to the core by what I was saying to them. So then I woke up from the dream, and then as I was waking up, I heard the words, write it down. So I got out my notebook and I wrote this dream down. Then, after, right after that, I opened the Bible to a random page, and I opened to the book of Joel, chapter 2, to the following passage. And I'm going to read it now to you. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sound the alarm on my holy hill. Let all who live in the land tremble. For the day of the Lord is coming. It is close at hand. A day of darkness and gloom. A day of clouds and blackness. Like dawn spreading across the mountains. A large and mighty army comes. Such as never was before. Nor ever will be in ages to come. And then I heard in my spirit that I should pray. So I got down on my knees and I started praying. And I, during prayer, I heard these words clearly. Warn them of the coming judgments. Warn them of the coming judgments. Warn them of the coming judgments. So then I was praying. And as I was praying, and I was reading Bible passages while I was praying, these Bible passages stood out to me. And I knew that in the Spirit, God wanted me to share these passages with all of you. So here are the passages. The first passage is, is the following. The Lord is coming with thousands upon thousands of his holy ones to judge everyone and to convict all the ungodly of all the ungodly acts they have done in an ungodly way and of all the harsh words ungodly sinners have spoken against him. This is Jude 14 to 15. And then the next passage was, Train yourself to be godly, for physical training is of some value, but godliness has value for all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. And this is from 1 Timothy four, chapter 4, passages 7 to 8. And then the next passage is, Set an example for the believers in speech, in life, in love, in faith, and in purity. Devote yourself to the public reading of Scripture, to preaching and to teaching. Be diligent in these matters. Give yourself wholly to them. Persevere in them. Because if you do, you will save both yourself and your hearers. Keep yourself pure. And this is also from 1 Timothy chapter 4 and chapter 5.
The next Bible passage I was led to share is, You man of God, pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses. And this is from 1 Timothy chapter 6. And this is also another Bible passage I was led to share. The Lord will march out like a mighty man, like a warrior. He will stir up his zeal. With a shout, he will raise the battle cry and will triumph over his enemies. And this is from Isaiah 42, 13. My brothers and sisters, please repent. Please heed God's warnings now while there is still time. Please repent. God does not want you to perish in hell forever. He is warning you out of love because he loves you and he does not want you to perish. Please, please repent. Do everything you can to share this message of repentance to everyone you know because God is coming very, very soon. And at that time when he comes, there will be no more time to repent. Right now is the time, my brothers and sisters. Please repent and please share this message. Shalom to you all.